My name is Cruiser on the forums. I'm the Conclave Minister currently. We have with us Katra and Dandro and Tal Bev. If you guys would, pretty please introduce yourselves. I am Katra Stormreaver and I am the Conclave Warden. I'm uh, Dandro Shad. I am the uh, Western Regional Commander. I am Talbot Stormriver, and I'm the current Lukabor for the re Western Region. Right. Basically, in the bottom lower left-hand corner of that slide were all of the clan level officers. Uh, the administrative officers, which are the Rukabor, the Trailor, the Ruslor, Junior Ruslor, and the, the Joralor, they are would be below the elected officers, which the lowest one would be the Ruslor Slish, then the Verilor, which is second in command, and then the Alarad, who is the clan level CEO. Now, for the most that, part, those are the people that, that your members interact with. Yep. Almost yep. exclusively, unless they're pursuing some sort of either clan level officer position or regional officer position. So unless you feel like running for any of those offices, it's very unlikely that unless you're a bad boy, you encounter your regional commander or your conclave minister, God forbid, or any of those people. Uh, but probably the closest interaction that most people have with a sort of higher echelon of, 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 of officer or of rank is during the application process because you're going through first of your Rusalor then through pre-app, which is first run at the clan level. Uh, from there, it goes through a regional level, and then from there to your actual application. So that's probably actually the most pure form of sort of, of tiered access. So, 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 so approvals, approvals, just to one, I, on that chart, they're in blue. The, that, that chain you just talked about is in blue. But the other thing is approvals come from the international level. They come from Correct. the Okay. Yes. Yeah. So that's, that's one, generally the only interaction that 90% of our members will have with anyone outside of their clan in terms of that, that structure, unless they decide to pursue things like clan level or regional level offer, uh, office. We're a little bit special that way as a club as well, that we do international level approvals um, all from one team. So uh, that sets us apart a little bit and it, it makes our, our judging judging more consistent way more consistent yep yep for sure I, th I think there's a lot of there was a lot there's a lot of um i'm just pulling that slide back up right now and so there's there's there are two officers who not only report to the alarad but they have another officer in the chain of command that they re report to specifically uh having to do with their specific duties the, the Rusalor Slish is, is one of them. They deal with the Rusol, who is, like we said, the liaison to the app team. The Rusol, there's one per region, um, run the regional pre-approval process. And if there are any questions that the clan level Rusalor Slish has about spe um, clarification on CRLs or anything like that, they will go to their Rusol for those answers, not their Alarad, because the Alarad has nothing, has no say in CRL interpretations. That's not, that's not that avenue. Everyone has a road that they stay on, and that, that is not a detour that the Alarad makes, or the Verilor. The CRLs come from, uh, come from the personnel officer, who's the clan le uh, club level officer responsible for CRLs, down to the Rusol, from the Rusol to the Rusolor Sleesh. And the next one would be the, the Verilor, also can ask for clarification from the regional Ver Sol. Um, perhaps issues with merchandise or who do I contact on the art team to get this looked at or whatever the case may be, they would go to their Ver Sol for any kind of clarification. Um, Ver Sol is, uh, it's, it's the regional merch. Oh, I almost said merchant. it. Yes, the merchant. The regional merch merchant. <laughs> So just to be clear here, since we're talking about um, you know clan level officers and regional level officers and higher, um, just to be completely transparent, the Rusal is not a regional officer. They are an app team liaison. Yep. They are there purely to help the clans and the Rusal Solis with any CRL related questions or 
clarification and they do run a regional free app, which is a tool to help people become appointed. Mm -hmm. But they are not a regional officer. Nope, really they are not elected. They are appointed. They're, they're they appointed. are appointed. Okay. And they are members of the app team, not of regional command. Nope, they are not a part of what's called the conclave. And, and the they conclave are also, in fact, not allowed to uh, essentially work within the region that they live to avoid any appearance of impropriety or or favoritism or anything like that. You can't be in charge of your own compliance. That's awesome. So so if I lived in, well, let's temporarily I'm living in the Western regions where I'm serving. So let's just say I took that job. I could not serve the Western region in that capacity. I'd have to serve. Correct. You region. could not. You'd be assigned to one of the other regions and somebody who lives elsewhere would be assigned to oversee yours. That's and it, it's yeah, it's not a matter of trust. It's just purely a matter of like, let's eliminate that as even a yeah. question on anybody's mind. I was the last person to serve as a actual regional result when we were regional officers. And I was the last result to serve in a region that I resided in. Mm -hmm. That's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of years now. Yep. Mm -hmm. We don't need to get into age or how long. Let's not go there. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.